Now, great to be here. Thanks, uh, Jan. 30% of inner city traffic is searching for a parking spot. Every major city in the world is dealing with parking problems. Parking is extremely expensive. It's very difficult to find a parking location. And it's one of the main reasons for inner city pollution. But the solution is already there. Think of all the office buildings. This is an example of London, with a parking garage right underneath them. At evenings and weekends, when there's the highest parking pressure, these parking garages are completely empty. Actually, parking garages of office buildings are used eight hours a day, and 16 hours a day, they're empty. And there are enough of these parking spots available. Uh, this is a photo of Rotterdam, of course. Sorry to say that in Amsterdam. In Rotterdam, there's more than 80,000 vacant private parking spots. And I'm talking about office buildings. So not only consumers, but these are all purely office buildings. The city of Amsterdam, more than 50,000 parking spots. Not all of them in the center. Uh, else I would have, would have offered you to park there today already. But actually, we already man main uh, main made sure that we could open up great parking locations in Amsterdam alone. London, more than 300, oh, sorry, in the total of the Netherlands, only the main, city, more, more, main cities, more than 300,000. And in London, it's 10 times that amount. The real estate industry is searching for new ways to create value. Of course, they're searching for additional income. The real estate industry is always searching for additional income and to increase the value of their properties. But they're also searching for ways to create value to society. And they want to make sure that they use their resources as most efficient as you should. Especially now, I think we all should realize we have the right resources at this planet if we make sure we make the right use of them. And making sure of using the parking garages for the right reason is one of them. So, smart technology is needed to make sure that these private parking spots become available to the public. And that's exactly what we at ParkB developed. Uh, we developed the hardware and software to open up uh, these barriers, actually. And I'll uh, quickly tell you how we did that. Actually, we did, not we did not develop our own app. That might have been the first idea, of course. It's a new idea. You use technology, you need to develop an app. But these apps are already there. How many of you are Dutch? Some hands. How many, oh, that's quite a lot. How many of you have Park Mobile or Park Line? You already have ParkB. ParkB is right already on your mobile phone because we choose to collaborate with the major parking app providers that already have the user base, like Park Mobile, Park Line in the Netherlands, or Ringo in the UK. So let me click, quickly show you how it works. It's quite simple. You search or you go to a location, a ParkB location, uh, you open up the Park Mobile app, and then you see what's the, the available parking uh, opportunities. And if you see an orange icon, that's us, then you're at the right spot. If you click that icon and select the garage, uh, you get the, the, the normal button would say start in Park Mobile or Park Line. Now it says open barrier, here it's said in Dutch, open slagboom. If you press that button, we install the hardware in the, in the barrier so that you can easily open up the barrier and just drive in and search for a parking spot. If, uh, for example, there's also a human door to enter or exit the garage, we also develop that you can easily open up the human door by pressing open Toegangsdeur, open human door. And lastly, you've, you've parked for a day, hopefully, uh, you paid much less. In Amsterdam, only 15 euros or 10 euros for a full day of parking. And you go back to your car, you drive to the barrier, you press open barrier again, the transaction will stop and Park Mobile will make sure that you actually pay. So that's how it works. And also the business model is pretty straightforward, actually. And the, we share a lot of the income with the, the uh, building owner, with the garage owner. So 50% is split among us, and we make sure that also Park Mobile or the parking app provider in this case will get their fee. For the building owner, it's a clear proposition. It's assets they already have, and it's empty. They're not using it. It's already paid for. We install all the technology. We don't ask any upfront investment. We make sure that there's customer service and marketing to make sure that we can fill up these garages. And uh, we really make sure that we're flexible for the owner as well. We have more than 30 locations currently all over the Netherlands. And we are adding five to 10 new garages every month. We're entering London. And most importantly, what's next? That's why we need you. We're searching for capital. I think in the coming years, we will always be searching for capital. So make sure you remember this. Um, we're always looking for new locations. 
And lastly, uh, we're always looking for new talent because we're building this network. It's going to be international, and we need talent, entrepreneurial talent, to make sure we can grow. Thank you. How much uh, money are you looking for, Bauta? Um, well, we're actually currently raising our uh, round A, and it wasn't that difficult to find capital. So, uh, uh, yeah, we kind of seem to have covered that. We're always interested to talk to new VCs, of course, but we're also making sure that we will have funding in the next stages. So, uh, uh, yeah. Is so, the uh, Series A B. still open? Sorry? Is um, the Series A still open or closed? The Series A can be open if you have a really good offer, yeah, for sure. Okay. <laughs> But you still don't let us know how much you need. I'd love to talk to the VCs about that, for sure. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Thank okay. you. A couple of million, most probably. For All sure. Right. <laughs> Thank you. <Alan. laughs>